It's a place for bulldogs that's been home or is home. And this weekend, it's a chance to go back in time and live that college life again. It's homecoming weekend at Samford University, a time we say to all bulldogs, welcome home. It's actually one of my favorite times of the year. I just ran into a couple students that I had so much fun with when they were here and they were looking for me and they had gone in and left a note under my door and was so excited to see me um, when they came outside. And um, it's fun to catch up and hear about what they're doing and are they married and do they have kids and what kind of job are they doing and how are they using what it is that we taught them. Sanford truly uh, has become a second home for me. Uh, being from Alabama, uh, coming here really was a great place for community and, and uh, just a place where I can't seem to leave, Brad. And sure, we had some rain, but we also saw reunions and got some results on the football field. We had a great crowd considering the elements and, uh, you know, if, if, if uh, with a 33 nothing um, lead, if, if, um, if I could have, I would, we just called the game and gone to the house and, you know, um, but um, again, it was just kind of a, a dreary day um, as far as the weather, but our players brought the juice and I'm really excited and proud for them. I assure you, uh, that there ain't nothing Before the big game, we had some big time reunions. The classes of 2005, 1990, and 1965 were back on campus. Those that bleed red and blue, they were outside, soaking up the rain, soaking up the fun. I was really nervous actually about the rain, but it didn't stop us at all. I think Dr. Westmoreland yesterday said, we'll be out here rain or shine. Um, so it's cool that Stanford, they can still have the tailgate, have the tents out. The food's just as good, and if anything, we're all coming closer together out of the tent um, to still cheer on our Bulldogs. It's amazing to see how much uh, homecoming and football has grown uh, over the years. Uh, this whole uh, event that they, that they put on with all the, the uh, homecoming festivities, it's great to see. It's just great to be back on campus, to be with friends and people that we love, and that's worth any weather, anything. These people are what, make, what matters and are worth coming back for, regardless of the weather. Also fun, celebrating the grand opening of the Art Lofts, the new home to what we call the Messy Arts. And already students are in the space creating great works. It's just been wonderful because every step of the way, it's always been about the students and how can we help them and make their work better. And so we just always kept that as the mission. Speaking of art, how about these amazing spirit boards? Organizations showing their homecoming support. And while they all look amazing, Alpha Delta Pi and Pi Kappa Phi takes home the winning honors. On Friday night of homecoming weekend, we were honored to recognize four amazing individuals at our homecoming banquet. Karen and Todd Carlisle, Larry Cox and Andrew Patterson are this year's Alumni of the Year Award honorees. I wouldn't be the person that I am now if it wasn't for the constructive, um, the constructive lessons of life that uh, Sanford taught to me. That, and that would be the, probably the biggest thing that I feel like they have given to me in my life. It's really helped, quite frankly, propel me to where I am today. So uh, I'm just honored to be here. It's, it is a great institution. I'm proud to be an alumnus and uh, I'm proud to be here. It's very special. Doing this with Karen tonight has been a tremendous, uh, tremendous joy for me. And for us to be able to share this together is really special for us as a family. And in the same room Thursday night was the homecoming ball. Hundreds of students filling a completely transformed cyber gym. I love it. I think it's a great Sanford tradition. I'm really excited. This is our second one. Just to kind of get to join with the whole school together to really celebrate the week um, as well as the semester. And at the ball, Sanford's Lauren Sims and Walker Edmondson were named homecoming king and queen. And they were honored at halftime of Saturday's game. Sanford is an amazing community. That's one of the things that first brought me here. And so to be able to be a part of that community um, and then just to be able to represent it my senior year is the most amazing honor I could ever ask for. That's Sanford University. It's home. That's why we are forever red and blue. Folks, we'll see you next year at homecoming. We're